Hi guys, the Ecstatic Mystic here, and today I wanted to talk about the threefold bar. Love it or hate it, as a witch or a pagan or somebody learning about witchcraft and paganism, you're going to run into the threefold law. And the threefold law, also referred to as the rule of three, basically states that whatever we put out into the universe comes back on us threefold. This concept is quite similar to other ethics of reciprocity, such as karma or the golden rule. While some people believe that the threefold law has ancient pagan roots, we start seeing its evolution being documented in Gerald Gardner's 1949 book, High Magic Aid, which he writes, Thou hast obeyed the law, but mark well. When thou receivest good, so equally art bound, return good threefold. So we see it, it's this really kind of loose idea. It's just starting to bubble forward. And we see this starting to have a bit of a different take from Alistair's Crowley, Do What Thou Will. Now, the Threefold law doesn't start really being viewed as a law or hard rule until 1968 when Raymond Buckland starts writing about paganism and Wiccan rituals and he writes this article for Beyond Magazine and in it he starts referencing the ethics of paganism and this idea of this threefold law. We then see it start to become more like what we know it as today in 1975 when Lady Gwen Thompson publishes The Wiccan Read in The Green Egg. At this time, it starts to read, mind the threefold law you should three times bad, three times good. And in some newer versions, it's even been taken farther to say, mind the threefold law you must rather than should. It becomes a hard rule rather than just a suggestion. It's also during this time where we see the threefold law being tied more strongly with the idea of, and ye harm none, do what you will. So it almost starts becoming the synonymous thing where you have as long as it harms none, do what you will, and hey, be aware, whatever you put out is coming back to you times three. Now, some practitioners take a very literal approach with the threefold law. Very much for every good behavior, there is a reward. For every bad behavior, there is a punishment. Others take it a bit more uh, symbolically where it's now symbolizing the idea of our energy is going to come back to us in a variety of ways. Others still completely chalk it up to a modern innovation based on Christian morality. There is a fourth way of looking at the threefold law, which I do particularly enjoy. And it's the idea that we have four bodies. We have our physical body, our mental body, our emotional body, and our spiritual body. And whatever we do in one of these bodies is reflected and manifested into the other three. So in this mindset, we have to make sure that all of our bodies are on the same page with our course of action. Because if what we're doing isn't sitting right with us emotionally, we're going, but we do it anyways, we're going to see that negative, painful, suffering, struggling feeling, that punishment for doing something wrong being manifested in that body. So it's less about this, it, be, it becomes less about this like, high ethical moral thing and more about like hey 
make sure all the parts of yourself are on the same page or else this isn't going to sit well with you and this is going to come back. Make sure that when you're doing good, if every part of you wants to do good, it's going to be amplified in you. Now, whether you choose to adhere to the threefold law or not is a hundred percent personal choice. However, it is really important that the witchcraft and pagan community as a whole, especially those who do choose to follow the threefold law, don't allow it or the idea of as long as you're not hurting one, do what you will, become the pagan version of you're going to hell for that. It is a personal ethical tenant that should not, in fact, must not be used to police or shame the practices of other witches and pagans. That is part of the beauty of this community is that we have the ability to support one another even when we're on a bunch of different paths. The threefold law happens to be one of those paths. And for some people, they love it and it helps add to their practice but not everyone is going to follow it and pagans shouldn't be in the position of pushing their beliefs onto others so take the threefold law as you will practice it or not and i hope that you all have a beautiful day bye